I'm Tawny, I'm 30 years old, and I'm from Pleasanton, California. It's super unconventional, but I've asked my parents to pick my husband, so I'm going to be marrying a complete stranger. What can I get you? Can I do a small vanilla pumpkin spice swirl, please? Yeah, and is that it? Yes. I feel like I'm always a bridesmaid and never a bride. I've been in five weddings. I think I've gone to a million weddings. I feel like my friends are all having babies and here I am still single. Thank you. I have tried online dating. My friends have tried to set me up with people because I'm always the single one. And I guess meeting guys at bars, but that's not really my thing. So I felt like I've put myself out there, just haven't found, you know, my match. Hi, Tawny. Yes. Uh, room seven for yes. 15? Mm -hmm. Okay. I work out five days a week. I try to live a healthy lifestyle. I eat pretty clean during the week. I like to hit the tanning salon. I like to call it the fake and bake. And I always try to look my best. In the past year, I was dating someone and I saw full potential like in it. Such a good man has such a good heart. We just don't follow the same religious background and I'm willing to compromise and he was very adamant on not compromising. Dating is hard. The older you get, you set such high expectations for what you want. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. I've heard from guys that I've dated that I'm intimidating, and they say it's not my personality, it's my height. I mean, I'm 5'10 and I wear heels, so when I go out in heels, I'm usually like 6'1 or 6'2. So finding a man that's taller than me is definitely something that I'm looking for. I definitely want someone that's active and who, who likes to take care of their body and works out, because it's very important to me, it's outgoing, adventurous, has integrity, um, who's compassionate, who's just a nice person. Definitely someone that can put me in my place and I can put them in theirs.